Good afternoon everybody, welcome back to the channel, welcome back to Pacific Drive. So for those people that are interested in the long dark news, we had the update yesterday uh, that the new update for the long dark will be releasing uh, Monday coming up, so Monday the 24th of June. So, kind of throws off a, um, what I'm going to be doing with Pacific with Pacific Drive, um, slightly. So I was going to do a full playthrough of Pacific Drive. Um, I'm still intending to do that, but from this weekend, uh, I'm going to go back to the Long Dark. And I'm going to uh, prepare myself, get myself ready for the update on Monday. And then as soon as the update drops on Monday, or as soon as I get the update on Monday, should I say, we'll be going and doing the exploration of the new area. Um, and hopefully we'll find some cougars as well. Now, obviously with the way I play the long dark, the cougar will not attack us, hopefully. But uh, we'll be able to see the cougars. Uh, so it should be fun. It should be good. Um, looking forward to that. But we'll have to, like I say, just have to see how things go. Anyway, with that out of the way, and I'm sure I'll repeat myself for people who come in late. Um, without that, that out of the way... Let us get on with Pacific Drive. Now we were at the point in Pacific Drive, we've just been to our first anchor and opened up the anchor area. Uh, and now OP wants us to go to town. Fine. I also want us to get a battery jumper. Now, thinking about it. Remnant experiment. Battery jumper. All right, we are missing a panel. Uh, a crew panel. And two plastics. To create this panel, let's see what the friendly dumpster will throw out. anything out. Okay. This is some sort of reactor. Gotta be. Looking at it. Thank you very much for plastic parts. Now I can store the make a crude bumper. Crude panel, should I say, not crude bumper.
find your way to town. Possible. Strange explosion piercing. Okay. Remnant ghosts, no exit possible. the area of the safe zone. stability something at least You know what my favorite remnant was? The record player. You remember Francis? You, you play records normally, but then every now and then you hear weird voices. Like that one time it was my fifth grade lunch lady. Uh, this again. Uh, you know, the sooner I get this out of my system, the sooner you can have some peace and quiet. <sighs> Fine. Hey, had a girl? Oh boy. Hey, driver, listen. Of all the legends, of all the stories that have spawned in the zone, <laughs> trust me, there are so many. Remnants? One of the best. I'll start from the beginning. 
In 1964, strange objects began appearing throughout the zone. They were uh, shabby, cast off things that were imbued with strange properties. Uh, a broken microwave that froze food instead of warming it. A rusty can of paint that produced every color in existence. Always so out of place that people were irresistibly drawn to them. Yeah, you know, like a mysterious car in the forest, right? Yeah, no. No. Hi, Amy. How are you? Tobias mentioned that the remnants bind themselves to people, like the cars done with you, and how that led to obsession. These obsessions always started innocently. A, a sudden interest in model train sets or collecting old road signs. The objects themselves would exhibit anomalous properties, but what didn't in the zone, right? Yeah, the I'm okay. Cause for alarm. But these fixations would only grow worse until its victims could think of nothing else but the remnant. And they always ended with spiraling into madness and disappearing in a mad chase after something. Sorry, driver, it doesn't sound fun. Better to know what you're up against. Could the Remnant's victims still be out there somewhere? I mean, we never heard from them again, but it doesn't mean they all died, right? If the madness didn't kill them, then the zone did. <laughs> anyway, it's been 20 years since the last Remnant sighting. We thought they were long gone. Until you found the car. Yeah, thanks for that. feeling the remnants effects driver have you been fixating on the car maybe no if only we knew where remnants came from then we'd have a place to start on how to help you this is no typical anomaly right yeah 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 the anomalies we know they're creepy crawly and weird like v visible manifestations the remnants were the only ones that wormed its way into your brain there's something much much more Really don't give a lot of confidence, do you guys? Of the, because of the car being a remnant, I can't go very far from it. Huh. Yeah, floating rocks, that's perfectly normal. Oh my. Rubber. Floral decal kit. Or decal kit. Fabric. Black paint. Headlight. Scrapper. Mischievous Melkin. Okay. Paint stripper. Fabric. Canned food. Pick up what that was. Dumpster pearl? What the fuck's a dumpster pearl? Slice a pearl in half and you'll find thousands of layers of protective precious materials formed around corn. Break one of these apart and who knows what will pop out. Ah, 
actually I need to keep the scrapper because my one's out to uh, disintegrate. Steel bumper. Crude bumper. Well, probably till I take the bumper off, it's not going to do anything, I don't think. Right. Fuel truck. Fuel tanker. Is there anything else? I wouldn't be cutting into a fuel tanker, particularly with sparks flying. through it because my exits up there oh shit Exploding. Good. Where's my fuel can? Have a brew. It's uh, definitely worth a screenshot.
That's not good. tourists here. Gotta to, gotta to investigate though. Tourists are uh, these things. They look like mannequins. I personally think they're people, but they will explode if you get too close to them. The floaty drone thing, I've got no idea what the fuck it is, but it will hurt. Where's my pry bar gone? Obviously I forgot to bring it with me. Floating rocks, totally normal. Shit, there's radiation. Because of course there's radiation. Keep an eye on that. Fook out there then.
Okay. No, put that down. Supposed to be a stable area. Not very stable to me. He has a plan to verify if your car is a remnant. Rolls are normally called a colossal cappy, which sounds neither friendly nor fun. But still, you trust Oppie, right? Fuck no. Trust any of them. As far as I know, they're all remnant. Tourist. Hi Christina, hi, how are you? So it turns out you're right, we've had reports from several regions of the zone now and they're all very similar. We have these dummy things out in the wilderness and um, we also have them inside abandoned houses. We also have them in gas stations, uh, on the road, on top of signs. One report here says on a roof we spotted about 600 now, the file catalogues each and every one. Oh, well, you're quite right about that. The other thing too, yeah, I know what happens when someone touches one. We all got plenty of data on that. So I'm going to be applying for a position in Portland now. Uh, I've done my review. It was a great time being contracted here for sure, but I'm not sure. I want to work at Arda full time, you know. It's um, very strange here. Work in a very strange place. I'm sure you're doing very important work, and I respect that greatly, but... I think I'd like to go back to academia now. Oh god, there's one of them outside. I know for a fact it wasn't there before. AF Kingy. At present, the majority of radiation detected in the zone can be categorized as beta particles or gamma rays. Right. Beta particles, not so bad. Gamma rays, yeah, they're the dangerous ones. Behaving almost exactly as we would expect, nevertheless, further study will still be required to explain the origin and highly valuable, highly variable, we can see of this radiation, which is unlike anything previously documented. One particular kind of radiation frequently manifests as highly localised phenomenon with no apparent source or focus, and often displays changes of, and modes of behaviour more consistent with cloud patterns. These radiation microclimates are increasingly common and vary in intensity from relatively weak to extremely concentrated. We try to discourage the use of the phrase, but local contractors have already taken to describing the phrase hot dust to describe this unusual anomaly. While further study is obviously warranted, the extremely unpredictable activity and spontaneous 
uh, appearance of this radiation has made examination extremely difficult. It is not currently a priority. Right. Oh, don't panic, car. I'm not going that far. Sizzling mist. Really, I'm starting to get the. Um, I really am starting to get stalker vibes from this. Just cleaning. Yeah, that's fine. But we so, so conductive. This isn't a storm like an electrical storm, like we'd expect to find in the skies above. We do well to stamp out such colloquial descriptions. No, this is something else. Something both more intense and yet also much more localised. I think with a little time it will be quite possible for us to replicate some of this behaviour in a lab setting, budget permitting. God, isn't this exciting? Our research is finally paying off and we'll get tenure for sure. when I'm back at the garage where it actually is safe. Shit, nearly walked into a tourist. <laughs> Left, right. Okay. Yes, sir, we lost total control, sir. Veered off the road and straight into a house full of squatters. Six, sir. It's like something just took control of the truck, screwed it all up, and sent it every which way. No, sir, only Jackson, who probably has a broken wrist. Everyone else is fine. Well, all these squatters only seem a little scared. Thing is, well, sir, thing is, we actually think they're foreign. They're dressed kind of strangely. They have hats and flannel shirts. Canadians, but I thought Canada was north of Seattle, Victoria. Who is she? Oh, I see. Well, if we can get a translator on the line, I'm sure we can work that out very fast. I mean, French, sir, but I thought that Canadians spoke French. They do. Miller dated a Canadian, she spoke French. Oh, I see. Well, I'll try that now. Uh, hello in there. Are you all right? Hello. Do you understand me? We come in peace. Meet American, new Canadian friends. Sir, I think they're unhappy. Hmm. <laughs> Oh, 
I don't like that thing. Don't know what it is. It scares the bejesus shit out of me. Transcript taken from the dictaphone. Dearly beloved, we're gathered here today to remember our esteemed, honoured, and also kind colleague, Eric Gordon. Taking us from us far too soon, Eric was a shining light in our lives. Let us remember him for his achievements, his humour, and his grace. Let us remember him how he lived and not how he died, propelled as he was 600 feet into the air by a sudden blast of hot corrosive slime. I know our hearts are also heavy today, and we only wish. Eric could have been heavier and thus not quite flown quite so far. What the hell am I saying? And recording, and recording. Normally coming in. Bollocks. Okay. You don't want me getting to where I'm trying to get to, do you?
See what am I doing? Magic putty. actor of some sort. the left Okay. Apparently there's a road up here. I can't see it, but the map says there's a road. There it is. 
Jones. Pothole. I think it's more than just a bloody pothole. I've got shaker. Hey boss, I'm out here working with Mira and Tobias for maintenance and I'm afraid I've got some bad news about our gear. Run into some some trouble and I don't think we're getting it back anytime soon. Sorry, bad start for my first potholing job. Call me when you get this or better still, I think you should just come down here and see for yourself. Our tools, our signs, our lights, they've all taken flight so to speak. Yeah, really I'm serious, I'm dead serious, you should see this. You know how you told me we were normal people working in a very abnormal place? I think I know what you mean. Seismic squall. Sometimes the very ground itself is the most threatening part of the zone. Something beneath it has changed. And during times of instability, everyone and everything on the surface can be at risk. Drive to the scenic overlook. God, Sierra. Never wanted to think about this place ever again. Head toward town. Colossal Cappy is smack dab in the middle of where Sierra used to be. You can't miss it. Thanks, I think I see Colossal Cappy. I can also see a plasma generator. generator
glittering boulder. <coughs> hey, this is Anna. I'm totally going so fast right now. Oh no, no, no. It happened again. Just out collecting some data from the weather stations. And oh no, there are these new things out there. And oh help, if you touch them, you no. Hold on, Charlie. Look, I'm not an engineer or a physicist or meteorologist, but my guess is these things are discharging huge amounts of energy into whatever they touch, and when they hit a car, you totally go so fast. Hold on, Charlie. Right. Thanks for that. I want to know what these are. Abductor. Great. Okay. Now I know what they're called. I don't want to know about them. Abductor. Dear Maggie, once again I miss you and the kids so much. I'm sorry I haven't written sooner. But it's been just crazy out here. I've had a few minute moments right now. So I figured it would be good to put pen to paper. I hope you don't mind handwriting being so wiggly. But we have go... We're in a bit of a pickle right now. You see, our van got pulled up into a tree. I'm afraid I can't explain exactly what happened. Top secret things and all. But we're safe. Trust me on that. We also have two hours to wait before rescue comes. Hanging 50 feet above the ground and right on a ridge. I'll send this as soon as we get back to barracks and write you in a much better letter after. But in the meantime, here's a picture. I sketched it out while waiting. If there's one of... Th one thing we have up here, it's a heck of a view. Joe. So... Right, so I need to scan more than one to get more information. Driving straight towards the largest honking anomaly in the zone? You want to know if there's a speck of remnant energy in that car? This is how you do it. You're using Cappy to amplify the remnant signal. That's insane. So you're going to have to use the glittering boulder. Hold on to your socks. Whee! Okay. Good. Driver, are you sure about this? Nope. Well, that'll be fine. It's not fine. Look at those radiation spikes that Colossal Cap is still giving off after all these years. To achieve any sort of resonance, the driver's going to have to get right up against Cappy. I get you, Francis, but up is going to point. Any remnant energy lingering in the car is too weak to detect with conventional methods. Really? You're going to take her side? This isn't about sides. That's a good plan. I won't risk someone's life just so we can log another remnant sighting. The driver can make their own decision. I'm not forcing them to do anything. For all I care, they can lay down and wait until the instability takes them. That would get them out of my hair much faster than all of these shenanigans. I need to get some fuel. So...
Read all the notes. I'll read all the notes when I get back to safety. Take that. Big old fuel tank. Like I say, all of these I will read when I get back to OP's garage.
What did you come from? Remember to put the car in park.
get the feeling we're meant to jump into Colossal Cafe. Yes, I need to get closer. Oh, no response. Maybe you need to get closer to Cappy's core way up there. Can you find a way to higher ground? Tourists. Bruce that Oppie wants me to get to.
more tourists. Are still not close enough to Kathy. What now? How about uh, uh, launching the car into Kathy's core? I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. What? <laughs> it's simple. The driver jumps the car into the heart of the anomaly, and if I time it right, I'll open the gateway and extract them. And if you don't? I've run some calculations. I think it should be fine. Anyway, it's like they always say what's an experiment without some risk of total annihilation? Yeah, you don't feel it with... Exactly. In no way, shape, or form should we be doing this. Well, but you know, <laughs> if it's the only way, yeah, you got this kid for it. Launch the car into the anomaly. Okay. Really don't trust you, OP. like the Ark device is still intact with all the data it's recorded from your drive. And my plan worked. Cappy amplified the car's signal and it matches. Looks like Tobias and Francis found their remnant after all. Damn. Unfortunately, what they've been saying is true. The remnants drive their victims mad. Maybe that car, having sat dormant for this long, will give you a little more time. I'm sorry, I don't have better news for you. I'm still game to get you out of here. The faster you leave, 
the longer you'll have to enjoy the rest of your sanity. No worries, Amy. Ah, none of the routes you've mapped so far leads to a way out. Why don't you head back out and chart some more? You can get in touch with Tobias and Francis while you're out there. Alright, just explore the zone. See what the friendly dumpster has for me. Viewing out quite a lot today. Battery's good. Yeah, battery's good.
Sea Tending Station. Okay. for today thanks for watching everyone come back to come back to this tomorrow and then like I say I'll play the long dark over the weekend getting ready for the update coming out on Monday in the meantime thanks for watching everyone I uh, do appreciate it and I'll see you in the next one bye for now